Hello everyone, here, back, to do, well, it's more of a freeform discussion, but, uh, it's gonna be Cobra Blockade. It's, it's, that's gonna be the main video, but while you listen to us rant on about, well, just about anything we can think of, really. Yeah, probably politics, given that it's primary season here in Michigan. Yippee, and I, even though I registered to vote today, I still won't, won't be able to go vote for the primaries. Oh, uh, it... You, you had to have registered a month prior to the election, so don't even bother. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Unlike me, I actually have to vote, because otherwise I'll feel bad. Wait, I thought you didn't register yet. No, I registered a oh. month ago. <laughs> Ooh. No, if I didn't register yet, then I'd, I'd be happy. I wouldn't have to vote <laughs> this primary. But no, and so I actually have See, to. See, that was my plan all along. I, don't, I can't vote, so I won't vote. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it wasn't at all because I happened to go in to uh, get the title for my truck today. And I'm like, oh, I should get the. I should register today. Oh, but now you. Even if you can, it's, it's no use. Uh, I think you'd be able to register for the general election. Yeah, I'll have it by then. Because uh, you, you'd be 18 when, when November comes around. Oh, yeah. Um, but, well, I'm uh, 18, so what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I thought you turned... Oh, that's right. I, I'm thinking that you're 17 and you turn 18 on December. Uh, on, this, on September. <laughs> but no, that'd be 19 at September. Yes. I'm a baby, but I'm not that young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. For some odd reason, whenever I, I get a year older, I always think I'm a year younger than I actually am. So when I turn 20, I'm going to be thinking I'm 19. For some odd reason. Twenty when you turn twenty one that's gonna be a fun day to mess with you. <laughs> it's like nope you can't drink I'll today, you're my, still twenty. I'll have my diet coke and <laughs> uh, that, yeah. that wouldn't be surprising at all. It's like let's see, uh, what does this taste like with Diet Coke? What does this taste like with Diet Coke? That's, that's just what the whole day is gonna be for you. <laughs> uh, it, it will be a wonder a wonderful day. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, and we still uh, won't have our drunk discussions until that same later that year because I won't be 21. No, it, it, it will be our late night discussions. <laughs> oh, don't tell me! Oh shit, we might actually have to play the game now. Oh. Um, yeah, we're actually playing live right now. In case you didn't already know that, um, we might be doing something where we'll have a somebody playing a game, but it'll be a pre-recorded game. It'll just be talking over it, so. You don't have to just tab out and do whatnot. Um, or you can think of this as sort of like a podcast, and we just happen to be playing a game at the same time. So when you hear us reference saying, "Oh my God, we're getting killed," you can at least have a video. Um, we're, 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 <laughs> we actually have a technique on this game. You're getting oh, attacked, right? Um, we might be a while before we start talking about um, the primaries and whatnot, because uh, we'll. Ah, come on. Um, uh, I, I don't see a problem with uh, talking talk about, about it right it. away, but... Uh, well, it's a, it's an interesting topic. I'm sure everybody in the U.S., or maybe even out of the country, but I think most people who are listening to be from the U.S. and you know, but... Oh. I don't know, it's YouTube, it's international. Oh, let the raping um, commence. <laughs> yes, let the raping Damn yourself. Who, me or, you, or you barely got your base set up, and I'm like pretty much fully set up. Well, I'm, I'm trying to save up for the vehicle depot because I'm gonna have to get some excuses. Oh, I, I'm not, I, of course I'm Anders. I, I, I shouldn't even bother checking. <laughs> but, um, just pump out a couple flamethrowers, though. See, I'm locking my base so they're not murdered as soon as they come out. <laughs> <laughs> they're still going to be. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, um, uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just talk about the primary since it's primary season here in Michigan, like I already said. No. <laughs> uh, so it's the kind of thing where you get called five times a day, and maybe one of them is for some, like it might be somebody you know, and then the other four calls you to be, oh, uh, Rick Santorum is a Washington insider, or Romney is a, a politician. You know, the really boring stuff. It's yeah. 
it's almost in the case of, I remember one time my mom was like, oh, you know, Romney called her in reality. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, we don't know it was Romney that was where, talking to you. No, I mean, like, it would be like a thing where, um, it would be him Ron, on the phone, but it wasn't really him Sorry. on the phone. Oh, come on. What? Uh, you're not getting raped, what are you the batteries, about? The batteries for my, my controller oh, are shit. dying. That's not good. <laughs> my oh, Warthog oh, makes a good distraction. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For a good one second. Hang on, let me let me freeze them, Kyle, with the money I don't, don't have. Don't use here. the freeze. I need to. Well, my base running at efficiency, max efficiency right now. What use it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, uh, what I was talking about is that was a pre-recorded message, and I guess you could ask the ask the Romney bot question that he would respond. Sort of, I guess. I don't know, um, like, here in Michigan, we have an open primary election, they left you alone for now, for um, now. which means that if you're a Democrat, you can vote for a Republican in the primary and vice versa, which I think is kind of interesting, but it could lead to a few problems, but I'd rather have that than a restrictive primary, where you only can vote for the party that you, uh, um, registered for, which is don't kind worry, of Machine, I'm actually not registered for... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the interesting thing is wondering who I would vote for for the primaries, which I don't know. It's kind of odd because when I was younger and like even in 2008, I never really realized that the primaries for the general election were just as bad, if not worse, than the actual election because people the thought of it were like if you voted for the guy and the person was nominated like they would be the next president yeah i mean the general uh -oh. election is bad Shit. but banshees this is a bit horrific oh oh come on we're gonna have to do some airstrikes no now. well i'm gonna ma just... make some wolverines so yeah but we're gonna have to do airstrikes and get rid of it or something right, i'm gonna just throw my uh well, flamethrowers out to see what they got there just gonna be a quick scout well, I wouldn't say quick. Right, well, would, that'd be it's gonna be a while because they're not fast. <laughs> you gonna send your marines over there? Oh, your yeah, whatever. Um, uh, hang on, I have an idea. What's that? Okay, I'm hoping the batteries. Sorry about this. I have to move oh, myself crap. a bit. Um, I said the wrong time. I um, send my. I'm gonna charge some batteries, so that will not be an issue. Yeah. Sorry about kind of this being a bit unprofessional. This is our first time doing it, and we don't really have much of a time to do it. Just the schedule right now we have is not very useful. We just happen to get lucky. We happen to have two open spaces. Time. All right, I have no so idea what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. Wait, do that. How about a unit, and then fix the upgrade. Right. I hate this because some of the rechargeable batteries won't want to recharge. Anyhow, let's see if I can find the So the four people who are running, as of now, in case you don't know or just don't care, in which case I don't blame you. Um, the four candidates in the order of who you probably know is Romney, Santorum, Paul, and then New Gingrich. And I don't know why I refer to New Gingrich by his first and last name, but whatever. Alright, these two are good. Um, oh, never mind. They are not good. This one does. Please be good, because otherwise I'll have only one battery. Well, you're gonna have to change them out at some point anyway. Um, no, but sometimes these rechargeable batteries, some of them won't charge. Oh. Like, they'll have a flashing red light, which means one of the batteries is incapable because it keeps damage somehow. Alright, these two are good. Hey, 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 at least I think they're good. Normally they would say something, but no. Alright, so, um,. The thing with, like, Romney and Santorum, they're the two big ones going on right now because they're the two most popular candidates. I have not seen any ads from Gingrich, and Ron Paul has just started doing his ads. Of course, they were negative, like most of the ads were. Which is like, kind of I've, annoying. I don't think I've ever seen a positive ad. Have you seen a positive ad? Because I have not. Uh, on Obama, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I forgot about <laughs> that. Yes, I have seen it then. Um... 
That's kind of sad. Well, I like Obama, so it's good for me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I, I'd like to have an alternative. I don't care. I like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But yeah, it would be interesting to have a better debate, I guess, if there is, well, competition for one. It's not a debate unless each of us, there's somebody, um, oh, what did Ron Paul do at the debate in Arizona where, um, he was, he was told by, uh, the guy who was doing the moderator, he said, hey, um, you did an ad in Michigan where he called Rick Santorum a fake, which I don't know why he didn't call Romney a fake, but, and then he said, so why'd you, why'd you say that in the ad? And then he said, with Rick Santorum being right next to him, because he's a fake, which I thought, well, you lost my vote for one and two, um, because originally Ron Paul had my vote, because I, I, I decided I would vote for the person who pissed me off the least, so <laughs> now I might actually just throw away my vote by voting for one of the lesser candidates, the ones that you might never have heard of. Or, at worst, I might vote for Herman Cain if he's on the ballot, because, you know, a vote for Herman Cain is a vote for Stephen Colbert, Stephen Colbert for president, and, um, South Carolina. Um, yeah. His eating up frames. No, really. We I only lost that? five, and that was at the beginning. Oh, uh, yeah, because I have uh, 11 minutes and 23 seconds. I got 11 minutes and 28 seconds on the video. Yeah, because I, I know I probably started. Alright, so it should be good because we're doing it for 11. Really? Has it been for 11 minutes? Wow, time is going really fast. Yeah, actually. Anyhow. This is I guess, kind of an unstructured thing because we're still trying to get how this would work. All right, yeah, I'm um, gonna move up to claim the space up here. So I'm gonna oh move shit. up and prevent these guys from charging. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need your tank because I don't really have much of a punching force. Hang on, I'm getting more tanks out. Yeah, once we get the Cobra blockade set up, we should be good unless they get some air vehicles, which even then you have the anti-air people that are not there. I just pulled them back oh, because shit. I didn't want to lose them. Oh shit. Alright, um... Yep. Um... <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, that's the way to put it. Um, I'm just gonna start pumping out some Cobras. So we have them. Plus we need to yeah. something to hit back. Wait, why? No, I didn't tell... Don't Wolverines get back down there. <laughs> but, um... I can also say I do not like any pres Republican candidate in really almost any way. S some of them have decent uh, viewpoints, I'm but really, it's just, they're not likable. That's, for most of them, uh, there's the one candidate that you know, because we had a discussion earlier today, where that's not exactly the case, although it's also the fact that we don't agree with him ideologically. But, um, yeah, th that's what seems to be the case of most of the candidates. I, I really mean most of the candidates, it's not all of them, although it really seems like it's all of them. Um, it seems like most of the candidates, they tend to be, it's almost like politics, either they already were, I guess for lack of a better term, or kind of an asshole, <laughs> or politics sort of morphed them to fit that feel, but, but um, the thing with politics is that the nice man doesn't win. You have to be a Chris. But there's a difference between being um, overtly aggressive and being assertive, which I think the candidates seem to forget. Where we want a leader, but we don't want someone who's arrogant. Cough, cough, Romney. <sighs> Honestly, I think he's just that egotist. Same difference. He has the same issue that Newt Gingrich had when he won. When Newt Gingrich won South Carolina, he says, "Oh yeah, I think it's a really good chance I'm going to win the election," <laughs> and now he's only won one state. But I think Romney is also suffering the same issue, mainly because he has the tenacity to think that. Because here's the issue with Romney running for Michigan. Um, he has the really bad mentality that he thinks that since he is he he was born here in Michigan, but I always viewed it like this: he was born here, but he wasn't raised here. And even if he was raised here, um, I don't look for a president to be raised in my state. It doesn't really seem to be an issue that... Because th then there'd be 49 states that would be a bit mad at that if that's what everybody thought. And secondly, it's kind of what you really shouldn't view presidents as. I mean, they, they're supposed to be 
for every everyone. So I mean, sure, it'd be nice to have a president from your state, <laughs> but um, it's not exactly something I would vote for somebody. For. Yeah, especially if they especially aren't representing Brown, you the way you want he, them to. I mean, he, he's trying really hard to make it sound like he was born here and raised here, but it sounds really forced. I mean, you probably might have seen the thing. Oh, crap, I'm trying to get this face. Um. You take care of it. I'm oh, trying really hard to beating the crap continue out the conversation while I continue to play the game. And it's not working very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm getting a whole bunch of resources so I can do a lot of stuff, but... Anyhow, um... And then the other candidates, um... I don't really want to get much into my political views unless it's something that isn't something that I don't think anybody would troll over or get really mad at in the comments section because, you know, we get a lot of people who listen to these, all uh, three of them. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I don't want to get like a flame war or anything, but I think it's a general consensus that the Republican candidates we have now aren't exactly the best. Are, are, you, are you gonna get this base? Uh, yeah, I could probably use another one. Resource base so I can get All some right. code result. Alright, I'll get this one then. Um, this one right here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get Oops. some tanks on the field. You want me to send them over? Yeah, send them to the. what you can send to up there with me. Okay, Make it a bit um, easier. Alright, give me a second. The second one is coming out now sometime soon so I will send that over but uh honestly I I don't think there was ever a time that, this is my real first primary I really got to see as an adult I mean the last one I was a bit younger uh, I wasn't really that politically active but I was politically um, I, I did I was very observant with politics but I didn't really I was I was younger I was I think uh, See, that was four years ago, so I would be, I'd be like, uh, I can't do basic math now, I'm 15, <laughs> I'd be like 15, 16, around then, um, actually no, I'd be like 14, 15, but, uh, that's a lot younger now, but, um, with, with the primaries, I never, uh, the main issue was that I don't think it was very decisive for the Republicans, maybe with Mike Huckabee and a few others. I know Mitt Romney actually ran in 2008, but he, he wasn't really a very much a serious candidate. And it was really down to Mike Huckabee, who then lost to um, McCain, and then McCain obviously lost to Obama. The main issue was, it was um, Obama and Clinton, which I think both of them are really great, but honestly, I think Clinton's a bit better, but that's more my personal opinion. But the main issue was that they really fought tooth and nail with each other. They, like they, they were basically um, blaming each other for lack of a better term. And and then when the primaries were done and Obama won, and he was the nominee for the Democratic Party, it seemed like they almost forgot about that, which I thought was a bit hilarious in a really bad sense, where it's like, oh wait, you guys were fighting each other, and now you're friends. Um, okay. Which I thought was just, I don't know, it, I, I, I was hoping it was just a, an exception, but it almost seems like this was not the exception. Well, actually, it might, it might have been the exception because it was just the Democrats, because obviously in this case, it's a bit different because it's um, a president's running for a second term, so it's going to be a bit different. Now, that's why Obama's not getting anybody to run against. I should probably get a... Well, that's not good. Hang on, this might freeze you. That works for me. Nope. No, it's just those guys. Hang on, let me get those tanks over here. Yeah, um, why'd you pull your tanks out? I don't know why, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. I finally got some more cobras out here, and then you just leave them for dead. <laughs> oh, God. This, yeah, I might have screwed up everything then. Um... But I don't think, I think it's safe to say that got there one hasn't left. been a case like <laughs> this where um, there's been eight candidates who have been sort of well known. Maybe maybe I'm being a bit, uh, what's the word, like, I'm thinking of it too much where that there's eight candidates and everybody knew about them, but I always, I, I'm I've always the kind of person who would note somebody and they would memorize everything. 
I, actually, I probably could name all the eight candidates who ran in like a long time ago. Like, it wasn't a long time ago, it was about eight months ago. But anyhow, um, I don't know, things got interesting when, uh, like, in, oh, what, what month was it when they did the debate at Oakland? Oh, crap, um, my, my tiny base over here is getting attacked. By what? I think it was like in November, wasn't it? Last year. Uh, when they had the debate in Oakland. You know the yeah, one where I'm uh, very... Yeah, that was you, like you guys mid, might actually November. know of this debate. Um, but you might not know, it was actually at my university, which I thought was really cool. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see it because the university didn't exactly like having it open to everybody. They had a lottery system, and for some odd reason, all the people who were, um... Oh, what's the word? Uh, alumni, or, um... They were donators. It turns out, most of the time, those who did that were the ones who got in. But anyhow, um, you might know it because it was the one debate where Perry, who eventually dropped out, um, had his oops moment where he <laughs> he said, um, he was talking about three, he was pointing out the three things, uh, the three departments of the government that he would get rid of, and he couldn't name the third one, which I think it was, um, I think it was energy transportation, I think the last one he couldn't get was education or something like that. I don't know, I, I don't really remember that because I think you would... Hey, where are your Cobras? What part of the... they got destroyed because you ran away, didn't get? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Anyhow. Um... That was an interesting debate, uh... Especially since half the candidates who were there are gone. And back then, I think it was... I think it was Perry and Romney, or rather it was, um... Actually, I think I could go so far as saying it was Romney and Herman Cain, because I think Perry was losing his luster. Uh, that was an interesting thing about this primary, too, is that it seems like it was really a case of Romney versus somebody else. Yeah. Uh, like, those were the two top contenders. And then whenever somebody stepped up into play, they got pushed away. So at first, I think it was Michelle Bachman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, once she left, I, I cheered. Like, But, uh... Yeah, I think it's safe to say that I don't think many people agree with her. Um, yeah. Okay, those those are done. All right. Yeah. I can't really say I'm gonna be gone because my the controller is not really gonna affect the Skype. Oh crap! His battery is being. I do need you to send some more tanks, tanks down because you got two left. Um. Yeah, I'll send more down. Um. But she kind of reminded me of Sarah Palin in a bad way. Because nothing can be good about Sarah Palin. I don't think anything was good about. <laughs> That's her. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm really trying to think about it. But I can't think of anything good about her other than um, nothing. <laughs> but, uh, oh, it's horrible. <coughs> but I can't think <coughs> of anything me. good about her, and I'm trying hard. I'm trying my hardest. Um. <coughs> but uh. Yeah, and then after that, I think it was Perry who got the top. And then it was those other guys that nobody cared about. I never Santorum, like, I I didn't really know much about him. And But during the debate at Oakland, I just remembered he was kind of an asshole. Yeah. Like he, and I, I really don't like using those words in politics because it's just like... It's like using the word flame or troll in politics. It, you're not supposed to talk about it, even though it seems like a lot of the cases that it tends to be accurate in a bad way. Um, we got some company up in a tower. Do we? Can you take it out? Yeah, hang on. Um, but he didn't really oh, talk shit. that much about his stuff, but the way he said it, he just seemed to be always really alpha, for lack of a better term. <laughs> That's gonna be my word for the day. Alpha? Afraid, but, um, that and, um, the gate, our blockade's not working. Well, yeah, because I haven't set up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Although, the Kyle, Spartans seem to have stopped him. <laughs> he just kind of clogged it. No, here's the thing I like about the AI. They'll move, and then by the time they get past, that's around the time they'll start retreating. Well, they go back to the blockade. When in reality, if they kept going, they might have actually done damage, but instead they go back, and by then they'll be dead. Yeah. Works out nice for us, I though. Don't know, no, oh, yeah, it's nice for us, but just like, why would you go back? You might actually be able to get through. Um, 
Yeah, once we get, once he doubles his cobras, and once we found those fun skulls, like where one person dies and then makes an explosion. Do we have those? No, on? I didn't turn on any oh, skulls just... yet. I haven't had the time. Um. Yeah, but what else about the primaries? Um, I guess there's not really what to talk about other than uh. Other than the fact that the Oakland Center thing was at, uh, the debate there was at my university. Um, yes. It was really interesting to see the candidates act, or try to act presidential, <laughs> and watch some of them fail miserably. Um, yeah, no kidding. I don't know, I guess it's also a case of that some of them had some qualities that I think would be good for a president. Uh, like Herman Cain, I actually thought he was a really good speaker. And I'm, I'm saying this, ignoring some of the things I didn't exactly like about him. And I can, I'll try to remain non-derogatory, but it's kind of hard given some of the things he said. Um, but like Herman Cain, he he was a very well-spoken person. I guess in a sense he was kind of like Sarah Palin. I I, don't, I mean this in the best way possible. With Sarah Palin, he she was her the the reason why she was there, and I was having a discussion with. I think one of my parents, um, or maybe one of my other relatives, uh, where they said that the reason why she was there as the vice president was to try to be like Shane. a people person. Yeah, hang on. You do realize the, the reason freeze. that you have tanks is so they absorb the damage and the Cobras don't take any? <laughs> yeah, I know, just normally they aren't just aggressive. Yes, they are. I usually have tanks up in front. <laughs> Instead, you have tanks in the ba back behind all of it. Well, in this case, if they attack us from behind, we'll be fine. Yes, because they're going to come from behind, Shane. <laughs> they will if they send air units. You know, I got some actually, old ones back here. Actually, they'll probably just... Yeah. Anyhow, um... It's because I'm doing all this talking, and I want to have my units not get killed, instead of your units get killed, and by the time they... Your units get killed, my units are fine. Because everybody's already dead. Yes, because I took all the blow when you should be taking the blow, since you have tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Cobras are not very sturdy. <laughs> you think they would be, given their big, their <coughs> big barrels of the guns. Excuse me. Um, it just means they're strong. It just means they have a big... Uh, they're, they're just, yeah, they just have a big... Uh, <laughs> they, they attack strong. That's a bad word to end on. Um... <laughs> Anyhow, that's I guess that's the reason why I guess that's the only good thing I can say about Sarah Palin that she was kind of a people person, in the sense that since she was probably about as smart as the average American, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way, but the average American IQ is I think a hundred, which, as you might know, isn't very high. And you, it, she might not have had that, but she certainly made a, she certainly had a bad habit of making it seem like she had that. <laughs> IQ. Does the gun have recoil? Um, that's my, that's my I, favorite example. <laughs> I think she said does it have kick. Oh, kick, but, yeah, um, whatever. Same difference. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> but, uh... I still feel bad. Scarab! Oh, God. Scarab! Ah, scarab, we're not ready! We're not ready! <laughs> we're not ready! Even though we're... Fire all cannons! <laughs> Yeah, once you get a whole bunch of cobras, these things are done too well. Okay. <laughs> We're good. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought I it thought would I be. I thought I would've lost a couple cobras in that one. No, I don't think we lost anything. I almost lost one. I almost lost a tank. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> Ass. Yeah, I know, it's horrible, but um... Yeah, her McCain was kind of, I guess you could say, this primary Sarah Palin. But I almost think that's kind of an insult, because I don't think he was that bad. Um, I guess was punch 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 punch. Oh look, the Banshee! See Kyle, this is the one I was talking about, they sent air units. Yes, and that's why you only have two units, or four units on the field, and like nothing else. Oh look, you have a Warthog, and Bufu. Yeah, I know, he's touching <laughs> this base. Um, but there were some instances with Herman Cain where I don't really think this guy would be the kind of person I want, I would want to have access to our nuclear storage. <laughs> why I say that because I'm being very specific here, is the fact that he said things like, um, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but he said that we should uh, 
try your best to make sure that China doesn't get any nuclear weapons, which if you do know, they had access ever since the night uh, ever since 1960, I believe. It, it was sometime in the 1960s. So, um, the fact that he could be so wrong by a magnitude of 50 years is just horrific. I mean, politicians, they're supposed to be the smart ones, right? They used to be. They, they used to be. Um, it's horrible that we're making this banter, yet it shouldn't be true. <laughs> but it is. Well, I'm going to bring some Wolverines over here because they are... I already got some. Hang on, is it possible they have this base? You could check. Yeah, it seems like they're coming from that end. But I doubt it. Watch for enemy forces near this base. Yeah, they don't. <clears throat> they, they must be like going all around or something. That's odd. Normally they don't attack from that angle, especially from here. Yeah, we should be good with any wolf, or any of um scarabs. Yeah. I got a skeleton. Oh god. Slow motion. <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's some other things you talked about, which I guess I won't even bother with to get to the other candidates. Um, Kerry, I'll keep this short. <laughs> no, you won't. He, he thought he was a lot smarter than he actually was. And I know that might be a bit equatable to the other candidates up because of Scorpion. Um, but... He made it very apparent, and he was very aggressive. He almost like bulldogish. I, my favorite point with Romney was one of the debates. I think it was in Nevada, hmm. um, where he, where Perry was, I think, saying something about how one of Romney's books. He said something. I forgot what he said, but he said something, and he kept pointing that out. And Romney said that isn't in the book. That isn't in the book, or maybe it was like in the, it was in the revised version of the book. And eventually, Perry kept interrupting him. And eventually, Romney got to the point where he actually grabbed Perry by the shoulder and said, "Look, when you're pres, if you if you're going to be president, you have to learn to let the other person speak." And when he said this, I'm like, "Wow, that was actually uh, pretty presidential for him to say." Probably, <laughs> professional, I think, would be the better word. Probably but, the closest thing he ever got to being. Yeah, which I thought I was just like, "Damn!" Snap. <laughs> Perry just got told. <laughs> no. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, this is why we call it Crumble Blockade. The AI, especially on this map, they are very predictable. They will go through the shortest way possible, which is this way. Right? No. Up, it seems like we have some uh, air raids. Or rather, um, they would be air raids, but they're already running away. Yep, I just upgraded my turrets and said to hell with you. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should upgrade mine in case they attempt to uh, just go right past you. Uh oh. They probably won't go very far. Looks like I'm controlling their base. <laughs> oh god. Um, this is the part where I feel bad. <laughs> right, so I guess we'll ignore the first four candidates, which would be Huntsman, Perry, Bachman, and then. What do I think I'm making? Hang on. Uh, Huntsman, Bachman, Perry, Kane. Oh, I guess there was nine. And then Palenti, but Palenti wasn't really there. Not really. He was actually the first one out. Um, so I guess we're going to now to the final four who are actually running in Michigan. Um, well, I guess I should say running in quotes because one of them I have not seen any ads at all. And that would be Newt Gingrich. Yeah. Which obviously, if he was running, he would probably be running negative ads like everybody else. But um, the main big contenders are, of course, Romney and um, Santorum. And Obama's evil twin. Yeah, and Obama's evil twin. <laughs> no Obama, I guess. Or Obama Hussein. Obama bin Laden. Don't forget he, he, got, Osama, he got Osama bin Laden, in case you didn't know that. Oh god. With his bare hands. Yeah, with his <laughs> with his hands of a with the, of a bear. But um, no, didn't tell you to lock down there. <laughs> See, that's another thing. People were really freaking out about uh, us getting Osama. 
In both good and bad I, ways. Honestly, I didn't hear about it until the day after. So, like, I was, like, half asleep, and it was Monday. And I was just going more. to my local news, and the guy's like, Osama bin Laden is down. I'm like, what? What? You... They're serious, right? Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that, too. Just get... yeah, they talk about it like, in anyway, like... such a nonchalant way. It's like, it's like well, oh, you know, yeah, we also got that. Way. You said it as if, like... A celebrity died, or like someone really important. I know. Died. I don't mean to say as in like he was a person that everybody cared about. It's like, oh god, uh, Whitney Houston is dead, or something like that, which I don't mean to be in a bad way. I don't really know much about her, but I know that a lot of people miss her. But um, he said it as if it was like a celebrity. Yeah. And which was like, wait, what? S say it again. What what happened? So I was like. <laughs> What now? And then of course you, you go to school, and then everybody is uh, doing what the teacher says not to do if they have access to computers and playing the America, fuck yeah song from America, Team World Police. Oh, oh sorry, we popped my head to censor though. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. So, oh yeah, it, 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 we we have a PG-13 rating, so if you're uh, that's if you're I think minor, that automatically jumps to R, doesn't it? We have a uh, adult rating, <laughs> adults only. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, 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 I try my best for wherever we record, uh, especially when talking about politics and whatnot, to remain, uh, to ignore being a sailor, like I normally talk. Well, no, uh, you know, what does it matter? We're just talking. We could s swear. It's not like a big deal. We're not hold holding any particular thing. I mean, we're called Major League Retards. Yeah, but it's talking about politics, and politics is one of those things that I try to... I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not something that I care about. Uh, it's not something... It's something that I care about. It's not something that you should care about. It's not like, oh, kids might be listening. I might have to be quiet. Just like, politics to me is a very big topic that you're not supposed to, like, at least to me, you're not supposed to really joke about it. At least to me. Yet we're joking about it anyway. Not in that sense. I mean, like, being childish talking about uh, joking about it. If you're joking about it, like, the way John Stewart does, that's a bit different. Because he's he's doing a sad. Because it's John right? Stewart. No. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> um. Anyhow, what about the other candidates? Which one? Ha which one haven't we talked about? There's. We talked about Romney, sort of. In a way. I think. What? Well, I guess we're gonna talk about the uh, the negative ads. Since I'm pretty sure we'll get. I'm pretty sure during this recording section, I'll probably get called once at my house. <laughs> oh, did you know that Santorum is a Washington insider who voted yes for earmarks and kills babies? <laughs> no, he's anti-abortion. Um, which I won't get into that because that's going to bound to terror a few tears and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, that's... What, what about those negative ads other than simply the Rom hate them? What about the Romney and Oh, I love that one. I actually saw that one on the on the Daily Show, but if you see the segment he's talking about, um, it makes it so much worse. Oh god. Oh god. Scarab. I like how we Bye, both know. Bye, Scarab. <laughs> oh god, that thing went down a lot faster than I thought it would. Normally, it takes two volleys. That one was just one. Repair kit. Research. Oh, my arms up. This will be a fun one. Yeah, so... I think... Uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe someone in the comment section who's, who's a bit older with politics can tell us, um, was it always like this? What, was the prim were, were the primaries always... Or not just primaries, but the election as a whole. Any election. Like, it could be for a representative, for Congress, or um, even... Uh, State representatives. I don't think their state representatives are really that bad. Although I've been noticing there's been a lot of negative ads, especially toward our um, governor, uh, Rick Schneider. Yeah, I don't like him. I'm, I'm a bit indifferent toward him. He, the things he does wrong are tend to be very stupid. Yes. That's the thing so he shouldn't make it those mistake to begin with because they're so stupid. But the things he gets right tend to be kind of common sense. Did you send that Cobra out as a suicide? Yes, I did. I could have... I could have get like a Hornet or something set up. I 
I always want to make some Cyclopses. Um, you'll have to. Since I am Anders. I don't care. Damn it. <laughs> what the? My worst oh enemy, a banshee. <laughs> yeah, well, the tanks are at least smart. They'll go out to the banshee, or at least I hope they do. Oh god, okay. not more. <laughs> it's like World War One, only with aliens. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, you know, where it's like French warfare, and they keep going, attacking. And we don't get pushed back. So they just keep going and going and dying and going. And they die a lot. Like all alien scum should. But <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so other than that uh Romney impersonator, which I guess we'll talk more about that later, so because it, it's a I think it's just a Michigan exclusive one. Oh yeah. Or it might not be. I think it is. I don't know. Well, it, I, th I think it is too, but um was another Santorum kind of dropped down the respect ladder so yeah, it was funny because he was he was he was basically ins not, I shouldn't say insulting, but actually I probably should say insulting given what he talked about. But um, what the ad was about was that it had a Rami impersonator with like uh, I guess a paintball gun, but it shot mud. Cause of course, the it was alluding to the term mudsling, which we see a lot of today. Yeah, um, more than we should. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, more than we should. And he was. The Rami impersonator was shooting at a whole bunch of cardboard cutouts, which I thought was very interesting, because he might be alluding to the fact that he's uh, throwing mud at cardboard cutouts of candidates, although knowing Santorum and the other candidates, I don't think he was thinking that deeply. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, it's funnier than it so, should be. And then eventually uh, his gun misfires and the mud shoots on him. So his 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 uh what he was alluding to was that the mudslinging would eventually, I guess in a sense, misfire backfire. him instead. Yeah, yeah, backfire. Get the word which right. I think yeah. it already has. <laughs> and I, I what he was talking about does make sense. It it really is gonna nip him in the ass at one point. Oh, here I go. Now I now I swore. Now and now the everything's gonna be bad now. But um. No, you don't. Oh god, that was Arbiter too. Yeah, he probably was gonna sl stand the best chance of going through. Out of comparable to a Scarab. <laughs> well, well I, I think a Scarab would be the next best thing. Which, you know, it'd be better thing. But um, yeah. Anyhow, so that wonderful uh, thing that Santorum did. I, uh, anything that the other candidates did that was bad. I didn't really hear anything else besides them. R Romney oh. and Zentorum is the only thing I ever hear about anymore. I, I have only. S I didn't even see the, the commercial, but I did overhear one over um, Ron Paul, and it was an aggressive one. It, it was a. I'm sorry, not aggressive, but a negative one. For Rick Santorum, of all people. And he was calling him a fake, and it was just really odd because it was very obvious that he knew that he had the younger crowd because he said. Oh, Rick Santorum is like this, and and then he's like, and that's not groovy. I'm like, groovy. Who who even says that? <laughs> like, look, I understand the people you have voting for you are young, but they're not that old. I mean, like, that's like something you would say in the '70s. But whatever. Um, I'm just wondering what the people, what, what the kids are gonna say on the next generation when we're adults. So, oh God, it's gonna be horrific. You're like, why would you even say that? Like, because we do. Oh god, I'm getting old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm only 19, I'm getting old. But I'm, not, I'm asking all these questions. What? I don't. These it's... stupid questions that no one should even bother to be asking at my age. Not even twice my age, but um, maybe, maybe twice my age. But... Oh god, Scarab. Oh god. We're gonna lose the tank here. Yeah, I know. It was the one that was damaged too. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose a couple. Go for this okay. here. Okay. This might help. Do work, man. 
Okay, it might be a super, um, uh, whatever the second to the last one is. Any more tanks. Um, yeah, honestly, the thing about the negative ads is that I don't think they're very memorable. Unless they're really out of, out of whack, like that Rick, uh, the Rick Santorum one. Um, yeah. Which I thought was just funny because he was making, he was a, I shouldn't say making fun, I guess I should. Oh, I hate this. I I have to use all these childish terms for the political ads. It just makes me feel horrible because I'm like, no, that that shouldn't be applicable, but no, it is. I'm using all these big words. All the all the kids are gonna be like, what the hell is he talking about? What kids? You're right. I scared them all off when I dropped the F bomb. Yeah, that's it. What? Why are they shoot randomly? Did you see that? They shot randomly into the air. Who? Some, some, uh, a group of grunts. Hmm. I'll probably just shoot the pelican. Oh, probably. Could you move your tank? My wolverine's kind of phased inside of it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, uh, for there, I was worried that it was stuck. All right. So. uh... I don't know what else we talk about with the primary season. There's not really much else to talk about other than it sucks. And I can't wait till it's over. Pretty much. Uh, I hope all this stuff is done, but I know it's just getting started. I already can tell that the thing about Santorum is that he's not like the other candidates who ran against Rami. He's not going to go down, or if he is, he's not going to go down quietly. Um, especially since we're running out of candidates to replace the ones that eventually drop out. So it seems like all the ones that went against Romney, excluding Gingrich, although I think he's going to drop out eventually, I don't think he's going to come back in. Unless he starts doing it soon. Um, but knowing his ego, he's probably going to stay in until the end. And then blame the Republican establishment, and probably Obama, when he doesn't win the nomination. <laughs> well, who's going to blame Obama for so anything he can, anyways? Yeah, I know, it's... Horrible that I'm making. I, I'm, not, I'm not even. I'm not even just joking right now. I, I know he's going to. That's what seems like to be the real case. The, the, the real case here. Uh. But yeah, it's. I don't know. It just seems like a really weird case where politics just seems to be a. I guess you could say a self-fulfilling, a self-fulfilling prophecy of being horrific. I get it. Where we try to change things and then we say, oh, they're trying to change things, we we can't have that, and then, and then when somebody Boom sticks on. we don't like, eventually, oh, you have, you did get that one skull on. I turned it on just now. Yeah, I just noticed that. Oh, this will be interesting because we'll fire one shot and then everybody will die. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of now, they're too far apart, especially with all these. Hunters. Oh, God, I hate, I, I hate the hunters, because they don't die easily once you get the tanks involved. But, um, and, and then we get the really weird case, especially with the midterms, which I thought was really interesting, where, like, Obama, he ran for change and whatnot, like, oh, we don't like it the way things are, and I, I think the thing with Obama is that he said a very big word. Change can mean a lot of things. Mainly, things aren't going to be the same. And when things aren't very good to begin with, most people say, yeah, change is a good thing. Except when it changes to something worse. I which I think was kind of the case with some other Republicans. I honestly I think Obama is a decent president. I There's some things I agree with, there's some things I disagree with, there's some things I'm a bit indifferent toward, or think, oh, well, he could have done better, but he, I guess he did all right. Um, but I don't think he's the hell spawn that the Republican establishment seems to be. Thinking he is. Yeah. He's, quite frankly, given the times that he has, he's done well. Yeah. Oh, there's a call, probably, uh. We'll see who picks. Let's see, let's see if someone picks it up. No, no one someone picks it up, so it probably was a call. Ah, damn, I was hoping I would be able to use that as a show that a whole bunch of political people saying. Oh, did you know that Rick Santorum is a watched it insider? Yes. 
Yes, You've I do. You've said that plenty of times already, too. Because they keep telling me that. <laughs> that I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to hammer that in. Rick Santorum is a Washington insider. We don't care. I, I'm hoping that one of those is the is actual person on the line so I can say, Yes, I know, you told me this already. Shut the hell up, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I almost want to have someone on the live and just, just tell them, like, you do realize if you have all these negative ads, I'm just not going to vote for those candidates, right? Which means I'm not going to vote for anybody. So I'm, I'm not going to choose the Washington Insider over the guy who's a politician. Because there's no better alternative. Both of them are bad. I, I'd rather have none of them for president. Ugh. It doesn't work that way, Shane. I know it doesn't. <laughs> I wish it did. Because things would be a hell of a lot easier. Well, it's already been 50 minutes. This could be a long video. Enemy could be. Videos, I should say. With all the hunter shields littered around the battlefield. And there's some random debris just falling in front of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I like it better when it's the brutes and you see all those brute jetpacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good God! It's like a, it's like uh, they're Spartans. Uh, I mean, like in the, like they're Greek warriors, and all we have left are their helmets. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I shouldn't say Spartans if we're playing Halo. I should be like, which we talking about? But, Speaking uh, of which, you haven't thrown a Spartan inside your tanks. It'd probably help them stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, I know. I'm getting that set up now. With the barracks I just made. There that one is. Oops. Yeah. Get back well, what about the other three candidates? We haven't really talked much about them. I don't them. really care about the other three candidates. They don't do anything. Alright, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. We have to think of something. Why? At least with uh, Ron Paul, we haven't talked much about we him. We've only talked about politics for 50 minutes. Is there anything else? What, what else will we talk about? <laughs> I, I told you we were going to talk about politics in this one because the primary season is here in Michigan. We can ignore it oh. all the times because it's going to end tomorrow. I thought you said you wanted to talk about other things as well. Fine. <laughs> Fine, I guess we can. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I just, I'll just go back to politics. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this one sounds good. You know, back to politics. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Alright, so you want to talk about them? I don't know. <laughs> well, you wanted to change the topic. I was saying if there's... Bit bit, ask me if there's anything else you want to just talk about besides just the... Primaries, primaries and whatnot. All right, well, I don't know. What about something politics related that doesn't have to deal with the primaries? What? <laughs> Do you want to talk about something dealing with politics that doesn't have to deal with the primary? Not really. Maybe like Syria or something. I don't know. Which you? God dang it. Why is there a big blue blob? Oh god, they're doing a massive air raid over here. Yeah. I, th I, th I think they realize. Hang on. I'll be fine. Yes? See? One second. Four seconds. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. No, you won't. Here's the duct tape. Leave me. Here to leave me. Them. As uh, Shane's left, we are left thinking about, well, thoughts and uh, why he never threw Spartans in his tanks and they're gonna get owned right now. Hmm. Although, I heard the. That, well, that's not really a conversation you had by alone, but. PlayStation Vita, that's... I'm not really sure about that. Kinda seems just... I don't know. This stuff is sort of quite a bit of problems and... Oh, well, there's also Origin. EA's Origin. That's a... That's a good system. Already heard that, like, uh, one person... They were, um... Downloading... What was it, uh... I believe it was Star Wars of the Old... I said the Old Republic, or... It was just the new one, the Star Wars Old Republic. And, uh... Apparently they paid for it, but they didn't get their code 
two days until two days later. And so that was two days of them arguing with support and trying to figure out what's going on, why they haven't gotten it. And I don't know. It's just Origin doesn't seem to be a good service at all. I suppose just EA trying to be to match Steam, I guess. But uh Ooh, what do we have here? But uh, yeah, it's not really that good, I guess, if they're having that kind of a problem. And I don't think it's really that old. So it's kind of out of the gate. Well, uh, maybe that would kind of explain why it's not do that great. Because maybe they're just trying to get a hold of what they're doing and whatnot. But I don't know. That just kind of seems like something you wouldn't mess up on. Whoop, what's this? We would mess up on something like that at the beginning anyway. Especially if you're something huge like EA and you're dealing with support issues. Or not support issues, just trying to support your consumers on a regular basis. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Don't go to or Origin, I guess. Not really reliable, according to a couple people. But uh, that's just one case. Maybe it's not true, but uh, I've seen several other cases, or heard of, I should say, where it's just people not happy with Origin anyway. So, probably keep that in mind, maybe. And for those who don't know what Origin is, it's... or what Steam is, for that matter, it's just... Uh, a site where you download, pay and download games digitally. So, don't have to go worry about physical copies, which I suppose... I, I never really got that. Having a physical copy usually was more reliable than have, just having it solely on the computer and nothing like that, but... At least, at least they'll have like a history of saying you bought this, so you, you wouldn't have a problem downloading it again later. I suppose it really wouldn't matter. Or maybe it's not how that works, I don't know. I don't know enough about that system. Hmm. Well, that's that's a good feel then. But uh it's not politics related for those who are still with us. If there's anyone with them with us right now. Um what am I being attacked by? The kamikazes since that'll make it interesting. Banshee's special ability is Kamikaze, which is the crash in. When they die, they go and crash into the ground, but with Boomstick on, there's a 5% chance they'll blow up and do extra area effect damage. So, and on top of doing damage of them crashing, they'll also blow up again, dealing more damage. Maybe that's a bit of a handicap, considering we've been dealing with Banshee since the beginning, so maybe the Boomstick wasn't the best idea. Hmm. Yeah, not like it matters. I'll be fine. Unless they just have a huge wave of banshees, then we'll be kind of in trouble. Well, certainly Shane is taking his time, isn't he? Wonder what he's doing up there. Really quiet on battlefield too. Aside from Serene just saying, "Hey, they're coming here." Oop! I can hear something, and here something is. Welcome back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Out Say what? So did you, did you do any monologues? Oh, I lost a spark gun. And there was a big scorch on the battlefield. Yeah, that was recent. Yeah, I could tell, because most of those go away in like one minute. Uh, but I was telling my mom that, uh, you know, it's bad when the, pri when the primaries finally go and you hear the phone ring and you're happy to know that's a sales call. <laughs> 
So why did you have to go up the stairs anyway? No, I had to go through something. No, you didn't. What was it? <laughs> you want me to say that while recording? What does it matter? Not, is it something bad or something? No, I just... Uh, if you want me to empty a dishwasher. Oh, I have another Wolverine and Cobra over here. <laughs> Been sitting there the whole time. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's it. I wonder how long they were sitting there. <laughs> oh. uh, so do I need to go see the escapist and look for some things that aren't on the religion and politics forum? I don't know. We're now we're in. Do you want to call it? Yeah, I guess it's good enough. Well, we're still going to go through and uh, actually finish it up, so... Yeah, so I guess I'll just charge right in. Oh, God. Ah. That was loud. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> Because we had like 50 cobras like just Six unlocking at the same time. There were 16 cobras unlocking. Whatever, it, was, it sounded like 50, it was like, Transformers! <laughs> Autobots roll out! <laughs> uh, might want to take out the Prophet first. Before he blows up your tank. Whoop, oh, too late for that. Yeah, all three of them. Charge my massive cluster F of things. Get in there, boy. So yeah, um, that kind of concludes it for this. Uh, yeah, we this might have maybe two minutes left. What? Uh, two minutes before the game's done. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, thanks for listening to our first uh, attempt at. Well, I guess you call it. A, it's kind of a podcast in a way, but uh, there's an optional video. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you I hope you enjoyed me ranting because you might hear that a lot. Might I think Maybe. that's rather definite. Yeah. And in fact, I think you know, I think about seventy five percent of the video. Seventy five percent of the podcast, not video, whatever, whatever you want to call it, was you talking, not me. So. <laughs> yeah, because you don't care about the topic in hand. Oh God, they just made a scarab. You're screwed, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it over. I get a warthog. It was like perfectly timed. I was just about to get rid of the army and then get rid of the. Just, I was just about to attack the shield and then that was there. Hang on, if, if that guy can uh, do this. Alright, let me freeze him. This is probably one of the few times I like Andrews. Lock down and shoot it. Shoot it like you never shot it before! Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. That was a wonderful gift from uh, our enemy. Made a nice, fresh scare right when I get to attack it. Uh, now there's a good steaming pile of it. Yeah. Alright, well, I was Alright, well, uh, it's still kind of a work in progress, although this is kind of what it would feel like. And this is a we'll just be talking about stuff and whatnot. Yep. Just talking about, uh, just about whatever we can think of, but this time it was... As Politics, because of primary season. As decided and it by might him. be, it might be back, yeah, when it's general election or something else pops up that deals with politics. But most of the time, if we do talk about politics, it, it, it's not going to be like the entire episode. I'm surprised we ever was able to talk about it for an hour. Correction, you were su you should be surprised I was able to talk about it an hour. Actually, you shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. I would say more if I could, but you just decided to keep going off on whatever you thought about. <laughs> yeah, sure, go with that. Your mind changes as much as a bunny looks around a room. 
Well, my mind, my but my opinions don't. <laughs> I didn't say your opinions did. You know, we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna not like end this if we don't just like, you know. Yeah, cut. we'll just end it now before we, before we. Okay. Just ramble on. Well. All right. Bye. Bye, everyone.